Hello everyone, I'm very happy to see all of you guys again here, and welcome back once again in this Python programming tutorial series. In previous tutorial we learned about polymorphism in Python like what is polymorphism in Python, why we used polymorphism in Python, method overloading in Python, and so on. If you didn't watch previous video please watch it, you can find link in i button or you can find link in description below. You can also bookmark the Python tutorial playlist and subscribe to this channel. So, you will not miss any future video. In today's video, we will continue our Python tutorial series and we will learn about inheritance in Python object-oriented programming. If you're new to programming or just curious about this concept, this video is absolutely for you. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid understanding of what is inheritance in Python? Types of inheritance in Python. What is super function in Python? Method overriding in Python. Method resolution order in Python, etc. So, if you're ready, let's start today's video. Let's start understanding inheritance in Python. Inheritance is the process of inheriting the properties of the parent class into a child class, said the reference material. It allows the child class to access and use the methods and attributes of the parent class. Inheritance in Python helps encode reusability and promotes a hierarchical structure for classes. It allows for the creation of specialized classes that inherit common attributes and methods from a base class. For example, if we have a base class called animal, with attributes like name and age, we can create a subclass called dog that inherits these attributes. This way, we don't have to redefine the attributes for each subclass. Understanding inheritance in Python is essential for creating efficient and organized code. It simplifies the development process by allowing classes to inherit and reuse code from existing classes. Types of inheritance In Python, based upon the number of child and parent classes involved, there are five types of inheritance. 1. Single inheritance 2. Multiple inheritance 3. Multilevel inheritance 4. Hierarchical inheritance 5. Hybrid inheritance Now let's discuss each in detail with an example. Single inheritance. In single inheritance, a child class inherits from a single parent class. Here is one child class and one parent class. This is the example of ingle inheritance in Python. In this example vehicle is the base class or parent class and car is the child class or derived class. If you will run this Python file, you will see the same output as showing on the screen. Multiple inheritance. In multiple inheritance, one child class can inherit from multiple parent classes. So here is one child class and multiple parent classes. This is the example of multiple inheritance in Python. In this example, we created two parent classes person and company respectively. Then we create one child called employee which inherit from person and company classes. If you will run this Python file, you will see the same output as showing on the screen. Multilevel inheritance. In multilevel inheritance, a class inherits from a child class or derived class. Suppose three classes A, B, C. A is the superclass, B is the child class of A, C is the child class of B. In other words, we can say a chain of classes is called multilevel inheritance. This is the example of multilevel inheritance in Python. In this example, we can see there are three classes named vehicle, car, sports car. Vehicle is the superclass, car is a child of vehicle, sports car is a child of car. So we can see the chaining of classes. If you will run this Python file, you will see the same output as showing on the screen. 
Hierarchical Inheritance In hierarchical inheritance, more than one child class is derived from a single parent class. In other words, we can say one parent class and multiple child classes. This is the example of hierarchical inheritance in Python. In this example we have created, vehicle, as a parent class and two child class, car, and truck, as child class of vehicle. If you will run this Python file, you will see the same output as showing on the screen. Hybrid Inheritance When inheritances consists of multiple types or a combination of different inheritance is called hybrid inheritance. This is the example of hybrid inheritance inheritance in Python. In this example, hierarchical and multiple inheritance exists. Here we created, parent class vehicle and two child classes named car, and truck this is hierarchical inheritance. Another is sports car inherit from two parent classes named car and vehicle. This is multiple inheritance. If you will run this Python file, you will see the same output as showing on the screen. Super, method in Python. When a class inherits all properties and behavior from the parent class is called inheritance. In such a case, the inherited class is a subclass and the latter class is the parent class. In child class, we can refer to parent class by using the super function. The super function returns a temporary object of the parent class that allows us to call a parent class method inside a child class method. Benefits of using the super method in Python 1. We are not required to remember or specify the parent class name to access its methods. 2. We can use the super function in both single and multiple inheritances. 3. The super function support code reusability as there is no need to write the entire function. In this example, we create a parent class company in child class employee. In employee class, we call the parent class method by using a super function. If you will run this Python file, you'll see the expected output on the screen. Method overriding in Python. In inheritance, all members available in the parent class are by default available in the child class. If the child class does not satisfy with parent class implementation, then the child class is allowed to redefine that method by extending additional functions in the child class. This concept is called method overriding. When a child class method has the same name, same parameters, and same return type as a method in its superclass, then the method in the child is said to override the method in the parent class. In this example, we create two classes named vehicle as a parent class and car as a child class. The class car extends from the class vehicle so, all properties of the parent class are available in the child class. In addition to that, the child class redefined the method max underscore speed. If you will run this example, this will override max underscore speed method of parent class, as you can see the output on the screen. Method resolution order in Python. In Python, method resolution order or MRO determines the order in which Python looks for a method or attribute. It first searches within a class, then follows the specified inheritance order. This order is also called the linearization of a class, and a set of rules is called MRO method resolution order. The MRO plays an essential role in multiple inheritances as a single method may found in multiple parent classes. In multiple inheritance, Python follows a specific search order. 1. It searches in the current parent class. 2. If not found, it searches in the parent classes specified while inheriting, from left to right. To obtain the method resolution order or MRO of a class, we can use either the MRO attribute or the MRO method. In this example, we create three classes named A, B and C. Class B is inherited from A, Class C inherits from B and A. When we create an object of the C class and calling the process, method, Python looks for the process, method in the current class in the C class itself. 
Then search for parent classes, namely B and A, because C class inherit from B and A and always search in left to right manner. That's all for this video, we will discuss more about object-oriented programming in upcoming videos with practical examples. And if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, please let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up for more content, and hit that notification bell. Until next time, keep exploring and keep coding, thanks for watching, and happy coding.